Hello everybody, oh my god, it started with a blitz, never knew it would come to this. It's Crystal Hunter versus Hancock. In the booth with me is Fimir, hello. Hello everybody, and we're here, here to see maybe another chantering. <laughs> yep, I think it's already started. <laughs> with, yes, yes, I believe, yes, you started. Yes, yes, what you need, yes, what you need against rats. <laughs> Yes, like it's it's an amazing Kemri team that Hancock has, but unfortunately it's Skaven with a natural one turner, so it doesn't matter how good your team is. <laughs> um, he's got to try and kill the entire Skaven team, and he's got to try and protect the ball and everything as well. It's just brutal. There's a weak point here to dodge through. If Chunt wants to go for that. Which if I know Chunter, he will. <laughs> he will. He will. I mean, this is absolute commitment. Chunter is a coach that doesn't understand the term uh, defensive drive. There is the offensive drive and the very offensive drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One drive, the ball, sc the ball starts near his opponent's end zone. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the only difference. Uh, where the ball starts. Other than that, yeah. No worries. He can't get under the ball, but he can tag both throw rounds. Yeah, but he's got it. He's going to take this two plus, isn't he? This this guy's coming in here, surely. I'd be shocked and appalled. Like this is just horrible for Hancock. He needs to hope these dodges fail. Probably wants to come through here and tag both of them. Yeah, Shadow Man on the AG four. Shadow win and tentacles there. And then the shitter on the tackle. But it, it's a bit, oh, maybe you can come around the long way. Yeah, you can come around the long way with a with a shadowing guy. That's nice, isn't it? Shadowing guy can come on the long way. Maybe they both do. Maybe you put the shadowing on the tackler and the uh, the rookie on. Nah, the rookie's not as good. You've got to have the. You've got to have him. Yeah, you need it's a G4, it's a G4, so you need the... Uh... Nah, could have both gone, they could have both gone around the long way anyway, actually. He could have just gone to there, and then he could have double GFI to there. I like that, but the way. I like that, but okay. Fucking rats are stupid, aren't they? But yeah, I would have, I would have put him on him. Just needs to do two two pluses. And then the one next one could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Double GFI tag him. And then what does Hancock even do? All of his players are tagged. You can you can tag this guy. You can tag the the other one. And then his entire team's tagged. And there's a got a runner there. And you could also run him through as well, right? Yeah, because he's had you four, so yeah, no problem there. I think this is uh, wrong from Chuntner doing this. Unless, oh, because he's not going to tag him at all. Was, this was wrong. He it is, he it is, he's gonna attack him. That was totally wrong. He should have just gone gone outways. That's a bit of a bad mistake from Chunter, right? Because he should think about how fucking fast Gaven are. He should know better than everyone how fucking fast Gaven are. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he should have thought about going around that way. Now what you do, I guess, blitz this fella and then pick it up and pass it to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking stupid. Maybe you tackle... Oh, you can click free your tackler, tackle blitz him, and then this guy's free, and then he picks it up and passes it to him. The AG4 and the AG4 can go somewhere and hide. Yeah. Yeah, a tackle from the tense guy gives you a way out, doesn't it? Three D this asshole.
it looked horrible. Uh, anyway, I tried to look at a way of doing something. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, it's really. Anything it's that doesn't involve <laughs> Henry Pass, <laughs> which probably Chandra will intercept anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. The, pa the pass is the only player. It's the only, the only way to win is the pass. <laughs> As fucking moronic as it is. I think this uh, seconds is just Hanko hitting uh, the wall with his head. <laughs> asking why me, why Oh no, Hanko. This was definitely... That, that wasn't the play. I think. Yeah. After freeing him off, he doesn't literally. Needed to not do that. Either. All right, well, now he's got to pick up with him and pass to him, isn't he? That's the only thing there is. It's this guy. Okay, he's going to punch somebody. Can get, that gets him two punches, that's all right. Like, I think he'd lost anyway, to be fair. I think he'd lose anyway, like, no matter what he does. Like, what do you even do from here, right? Dodge yep. through and then pass to him and hope it doesn't get intercepted. And then run up there. Like, it's fucking stupid. Like, he's proper fucked anyway, whatever he does. Set up better. <laughs> be fucked for the blitz. That's good, that's better for the uh, inaccurate, just keep it. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Well, I see a way for the rest to score here. <laughs> yep. Yep, there is a, a definite path to victory here, isn't there? Can he it's successfully good. roll two pluses? Much skill involved. Can't do any blocks here. It doesn't matter. Don't do anything, just grab the ball. I guess he scores no rookie here. Yeah. The slight pause was just deciding on who to score on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, maybe if you can stall it out another turn. He can stall it, he can stall it. I mean, uh, there are no uh, Kenry. But whether he wants Close to enough. is the question, isn't it? That's the thing, because they're going to punch him again. I think you just score here. Because they're, they're going to punch you, you know? They're going to they're gonna punch these two, they're going to punch him. They're going to punch yeah, these. And also, and also, you know, the score's quick, he gets another a quick chance for another blitz. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I never take a thrower and I still have pass on manual. <laughs> Although my humans have got a pass, haven't they? Hello, Ducky. Yeah, live, a live game. Unbelievable, eh? Yeah, pass on manual is definitely one of the most important ones, for sure. It's one of the uh, rare Crucifer is here. Hey, Crucifer, how you doing? Hello, oh, Cruz. <laughs> Manual is for weaklings. Manual exactly. pass you need. You, you need... It's one of the few things that using the skill can be worse, isn't it? You know? One of the very few things. Like... Fend, Fend is done automatically, though, Ardvac. Um, it's against Frenzy. It's automatically optional against Frenzy. Um... 
I don't think this is really worth stalling it, to be honest. Um, yeah, dodge, dodge on manual is a great idea to to, to, to annoy Chris. <laughs> it's one of your, you know, you need every sliver of equity against Chris, so why not? Have, oh, he's even re-rolling it. Get the fuck out of here, Chunter. That was terrible. He has jump up. That was, I think that was terrible. I think, <laughs> you know, I don't want to turn into Artemis, but first of all, you could have just scored. And second of all, not only are you not scoring, you're wasting a reroll. I mean, they have the jump up, so the blitz is us. So there is one next to the thrower that maybe can reach. You can get the ball hit here. Like, this, the, the thrower can reach because he's got a double dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can tell it's a three plus two plus. Like, like, and then he can power and he could go on the crowd and he can, like, not, not win the game. Okay, he's not doing it, but he should have done. If you ask me. I think you should just score. I mean, dodge on manual. It's so rarely that you'd need it on manual, but it's fair. <laughs> Fend is pointless because it, um, it's taken care of. It, it automatically is. is it's all, Fend is automatically manual against Frenzy, so it definitely doesn't need to be manual. Sidestep is always pretty much because you can just sidestep where you'd have gone normally, couldn't you? Tackle doesn't need to be manual at all because it just relies on your opponent being a fucking idiot. <laughs> Basically. Dodge on manual it isn't that bad. As much as Cruz hates it. <laughs> yes, but that only relies on your opponent being a fucking moron our back. The tackle on the tackle on manual literally just relies on your opponent being a fucking moron. And so I don't like that. Yeah, dodge on manual stops one turn touchdowns and Sometimes you guy getting surfed, because like, and obviously it's it's so rare. Like it's totally not worth all of the times you click to use. Yes, Here comes the boot. Is not worth it, but um, at least there is a point to it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sad times. Sad times to be Henry. Yep. So is this just a is this just a one D from the guard? No, because you could roll a two. Where's this way? The two you still score, don't you? Yeah. So he's the same. Well, like the failure is the same, and if you roll a one or a skull, but this way, it, you, if you roll a two on the blitz, you've still got to make the one dodge. So I guess the dodge is, is the play. Whereas sometimes, like if if you're at three, it's better to do the blitz because then if you roll a two, you get another chance. But when you're at four, just dodge is, is the best. Uh, so then, we okay, here we go. One nil for the rats in turn, uh, scoring two turns for Chanter in his defensive drive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> should have scored in one if you ask me. <laughs> oh dear. That, and that's fair, Adva. That's fair. <laughs> All right. So we start the game, but this time in a in a in a war situation. <laughs> yeah. Now you're already one nil down. <laughs> oh god. Now pretty much your best case scenario is two one down because of the one turn. <laughs> oh god. 
good. <laughs> yeah, it's looking real bad for Hancock. By the way, if you watch my BBSL match versus Fatin, this is exactly why I had my tackler back there, rather than up on the LOS against Fatin, because I'm scared of him coming for my balls. And then obviously I had my tackler able to hit the guy who picked up the ball. The blitz who picked up the ball was hitable by tackle because I had him right there. Um, Hancock getting him on the LOS to use his palm. I mean, it's different when he's got jump up because that really you really do want to use it then. But still, I do like having a tackler there, being able to uh, get anyone who sneaks into your backfield, especially against Skaven. Like I don't really value removing the mine rats very much, whereas removing the gutters. Well, if you don't do that, you've lost. <laughs> nah, he's obviously he hopes the one turn fails. He can get into the half at one one. He just hopes for bad dice on the one turn. Well, there you go. That was a nice card. Block thrower. Not terrible. The great thing is that this guy can hold the side without any support because he's strength five. So he just needs some Strength six. Strength six, yeah. Strength six, that one. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a really good uh, kind of routine, and the force uh, Tom Warren I mean, is missing as uh, was also block guard, mighty blow. Yeah. And he's the dream, uh, the dream yeah. team of Henry. You, you, you can ask for more. You have yeah. a AG4, uh, good uh, killers, perfect tomb guardians. You, you need the tomb guardian here and another player here to like. You know, to, well, the tomb got in here, another player here to keep this side. Now they're going to come around the side, aren't they? And it's going to be very bad. Not as bad as it was after the blitz. But it's going to be very bad because they can blitz this guy and, and just come all the way through. Oh, this next. No, no, I don't think there is any inducements. I think they were the same uh, TV. Yeah, unbelievable. The rare chalice game with no inducements. Really hit. I honestly, I genuinely hated the chunt stall turn because now he needs a reroll for the one turn, right? So he's only got one reroll for the rest of the half. Severely limits his uh, play. Might have been up by. 40 or something, but I mean, there's no in, there's no inducements, is there? There's... Nope. Maybe Hancock had no cash? Like, it's bizarre. Maybe he had... Like, why hasn't he at least got a babe? Nobody knows. Let's sing that fella. That's a really good target to do it. Problem is, if you fail to fail to break AV, you're giving away a jump up block, aren't you? Yep. Not sure I like that. I like just blitzing this guy and then getting, you know, getting the whole team in here. This area of the field. <laughs> Maybe yes, because it. just now one of the two guardians just need to move one square, and it's those two players uh, absolutely controlled by the Kenry. Yeah, yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got to move him afterwards, isn't he? No, yeah, oh, God, he's got no movement left. Yeah, this is hot. this is rotten, rotten blitz, if you ask me. 
I feel like I'm being a bit harsh on Jeremy here, calling his, non calling his stall terrible and calling his blitz terrible. His dodge was definitely terrible on the first turn, but hey. You know, he is good at blood ball, and it's just opinions, isn't it? Opinions are like assholes, everyone's got one. <laughs> you, don't, you don't care about other people's or something, I don't know what the rest of the thing is. I'm certainly not professing to be better, a better Skaven coach than Chimta. <laughs> Opinions are like cloakers, yeah. <laughs> oh, his nanny has leader. <laughs> okay, oh, it still matters that he's got two rerolls left instead of three anyway. I really hated the, like, the, the Rando reroll. I, I did hate that, but... Now Hancock gets to reconnect. Gets a big blob around the ball. Smash this feather. That's a proper that's a proper chunter thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. A Give a leader before sure feet. <laughs> <laughs> Classic chunter. Yeah, now he comes with these balls. He's not. I don't think he's going to care about air uh, control. And he's just going to pom them both, isn't he? Well, this guy could have run, run around and pommed the gutter. He could have done. He still can. He's, he's, yeah. he's gonna blitz him, I'm sure. Which is fair, he's edge four as well, like it's, it's okay to pawn this guy. The first dinosaur butthole has been found. <laughs> it's perfect and unique. <laughs> Oh man, the fucking art of him just looking at the butthole is amazing. <laughs> Jesus. Is it not a cloaca? <laughs> oh my god! The dinosaur likely had copulatory sex, unlike some, bir some birds that bump butts when they do a cloacal kiss during reproduction. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cloacal kids. <laughs> Holy shit. Clo oh, that's exactly what I was thinking. Well, yeah, cloacal kids. That was a huge jump up. If that jump up had failed, well, it's still kind of. Yes, I was thinking if that jump up fails, you are uh, in a world of trouble there, but. He's got to re roll a 1 in 9. This is unacceptable. Yeah, gets the power. No, no follow up pile, tragically. Yeah, I think he probably didn't need to do that, right? He could have just he could have just caged next to this. He didn't need to rely on these working. I mean, it was a bit rowdy. A bit too rowdy from Hancock. But it's okay, he's got two rerolls also four turns. Should be fine. <laughs> Come on, my God, kids. Good <laughs> God knows what Chunt is thinking now. There's no way to, <laughs> no way to speculate about that, is there? I mean, what are the options for a uh, Chanter here? Just take one of the corners, maybe one of the jump up, maybe one of the the block guard skellies. Or maybe go mental and go for the strength six. Uh, Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I, don't know. I, don't know. I think he'll just run away. I think he'll just run away a bit. Like, still stay in front, but, you know, just... just yeah, yeah, just out. reposition yourself. Yeah. Dodge out with the Rackle, dodge out with the Edge 4. No one can really... You can maybe try and hit this Skellington at the back. It's a bit cracking. I'm trying. Can't really hit this Skellington. At the front. Definitely can't hit the strength six. <laughs> maybe he's thinking I was red dice in the strength six or something. Like that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's a pretty chunter thing to do, isn't it? 
problem is that the push isn't good enough to get well you'd have to follow to get the other guy out and it's just not hardly even worth it is it oh is he going for the ig4 oh god he's going for the uphill what's he doing nobody knows Oh, so he's just putting the he's just putting the tail on the uh, on the edge fall. Yeah, I thought he'd move him around there and then blitz him with a mighty blow. I thought that was a reasonable thing, but I've got no idea what he's doing. <laughs> just chunter being chunter, isn't it? I. So he is doing this. No, he's oh he's hitting this. He's guy going for that. You thought ah, I was right? Oh, double GFI to hit him. Seems pretty good when you know you're gonna break armor. <laughs> there you go, ball base. Yep. Bernie says uh, Hancock has like seven million guard players. <laughs> Still got four turns. I don't think he needs to worry too much. I think he probably should. Pom him and then foul him with a dirty player as well. Yeah, hit him uh, from the back so you can also push the chain. Yeah, the storm vermin. Yeah, to I'll get like another that. hit later. Yep, full chain the storm vermin. And, and then you can hit the storm vermin and free the. Uh, dirty player. Yeah. Well, he's obviously not doing that because he's <laughs> activated the other guy first. Don't know what he's doing, but I can't say I like it. Yeah, because with the chain and this, it will free the ball and get into play to very valuable players and get a foul, uh, foul ready for later. But now, yeah, no, it looks like he's just going to blitz the storm vermin and with whom? Oh, with one of the Tom Guardians. It's one of the tackle bombers. But the. The problem is, oh yeah, yeah, from the front, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just him back and then going away that way. Like it's bit, I think it sucks, but I think that's all he's left himself. Push, isn't it? <laughs> it's better on a. It's better to roll a push doing this, I guess. I probably shouldn't have put that Skellington there, though. Should have kept his tackle pommer in in the cage to make him make sure he can hit people. I guess this is good, Garden, but not okay. <laughs> Is there something Chunter can do with an uphill <laughs> or two? <laughs> oh, probably not. He'll look at it for two minutes, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna analyze every possible crazy normal play. Discard them and then go for the crazy ones. <laughs> yeah. 
think he's going to try to put the shadow away in a tentacles guy on the on the ball just because he's like must do it can I stop myself <laughs> I mean he has an easy blitz on the bombers any of them yeah yeah if we just do that Indeed, Volk, he's not a lunatic for no reason, is he? Yeah, we've just got to hit the tackler. It is yes, Hancock's drive, yes. Got blitzed and scored on instantly, and then uh, <laughs> this time he hasn't been blitzed on. He's made some removals, and this drive isn't going that badly, really. Still needs to do a lot more. Yeah. Well, now I don't understand who's blitzing. Okay, what's happening? Ah, uh, maybe the... Where is the tackle? Probably a good strategy by Hancock here to put those four in a square to make Chunt think about chain pushing things just so that it would eat into a just, minute of his turn. <laughs> yeah, just to chain, oh, I can raid dice this to Guardian, you know. <laughs> and there you go, yes, there was a little tiger. All in for the 1D. And wrestled him. Genius player. He was going for a chain there. Yeah, yeah. To what the end? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, what, what achieves a chain there? Oh, you can free one of the, the. No, no, you can free anything. He could have. He could have. Yeah, yeah. He could have. He could have pushed him the uh, thing for a one D, which would have been a two D with a gutter. So he could have. He could have. Uh, he could have got a hit two D block out of that. But unfortunately, he's knocked over a jump up guy. So, this jump up guy is just going to get the 2D as the other lad back. It's a dangerous game here that he's playing with these jump up fellas. Like, obviously, yeah, you've got the, to go for There them, is a lot of rats in contact here. Like, nearly yeah. all of them. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's hard because you've obviously you've got to go for the, uh, the tackle bomber. Um, because he can he can win the game on his own, can't he? Like he's he's the player that can take out your gutters. Oof. Wrong player hit though, if you ask me. Which means now he gets the palm hit. Oy. Oh, palm face kill. <laughs> Reedy with Mighty Blow on the other gutter, this could be good. No, nope, he's gonna pump. He's not pumping the uh oh god. No Hancock, no! He's got the shadowing guy right there! <laughs> I think you make the hit with a mummy first, 3D with a mummy and see what happens. I guess you can just stand up your guy and leave him in. This is the kind of situation everybody pays and all that. They expect to see you know, the, the other team with orcs. They're rats. <laughs> what the hell are doing the rats, you know, in constant contact with everybody? Yeah. Oh, God, kill Matronics. We've got to run out. <laughs> He's just gonna stand this guy up now. He can't move. He can't dodge away from movement nine. Fucking tentacle shadowing guy. Is <coughs> it kill Matronics? No, it's not. I 
Well, base cage, if anyone's going to up here with your Tomb Guardian, it's Chunter. <laughs> but it doesn't really achieve a lot, does it? So you probably won't. Only two turns left for Hancock, and now he might, might have managed to get the stop here, actually, Chunter. Over the bodies of his rats, but yes. I mean, the, the thrower is moving seven, so. Yeah. There is still a hope. Um, they haven't, like, he hasn't got very far forward, though, has he? With only two turns left. This is going to be a, a critical turn seven for Hancock. Hancock! Ah, I like Crystal Cock! <laughs> Oh, live games are a bit shit, aren't they? To be honest. <laughs> this was a replay, it'd be finished already. Yep. Instead, just sit here thinking about dinosaur cloakers. <laughs> you need, yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> Chanter have managed to deny a lot of uh, blocks from Hancock. Because his players are already down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, bodies, bodies in the on the way. <laughs> really going for this edge four fella. I mean, that's that's, that's that's the one. If you can uh, get rid of him, absolutely perfect. I mean, it's an edge four thrower. That's an abomination. <laughs> It's not even upcoming, is it? Uh, Red Hair, it's out now. Uh, ranked is the new rank. They just don't have uh, the, the Reckoning Pass or whatever yet. Yeah, it's funny, Ducky. I've, I, when I uploaded it to YouTube, I thought, seeing as I was like, you know, playing TFT through half of it, I thought I might just do it again as a replay. Um, <laughs> and then it was only 40 minutes, so I was like, well, 45 minutes. I was like, all right, then we might as well leave. <laughs> Might as well leave the live game up seeing it was that quick, but this one's gonna be a slog, isn't it? Oh I mean I have not played it either, Red Hair, but it's not upcoming, is it? <laughs> Ooh, last reroll gone. Massive. How critical will that reroll be that he squandered on turn two? Turn one, maybe even. Oh, no, that was was the blitz turn. It was turn zero. No, no, turn turn one. It was turn one. It was when it, when he stalled on turn one. Oh yeah. 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 So that turn one reroll might might cost him. Yes, Mordred, but he might he might be able to stop this score if he had another reroll on this turn. You know. The classic turn one stall. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he does have a leader on the 94 on turner, so that is that is nice. That is actually quite nice to have, isn't it, to be fair. Better than dirty player on him. <laughs> Do you know what? I had an edge five high L throw one time. And I nearly gave him dirty player because he just fouled loads once the game was already won. <laughs> and just fouled with him to get sent off all the time and I thought. <laughs> to survive, to survive how is the thing, you know, uh, uh, fouling with your best player is, is a very good tactic sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Literally nearly gave him dirty play. Oh, dude, imagine that, edge five, blood to your hands, dirty player. <laughs> yeah, Shawnee. My my my, my natty's had dirty player in the uh, in the league that we did, you know, the uh, the, the, uh, I can't remember what it was called. Like, you know, when we had the custom teams, the custom teams with the mixed race teams, when I had like loads of strength six tentacles, uh, chaos warriors. Um, I had two natural one turners that both had dirty players, like, I needed a dirty player on the team, but there was nowhere else to put them except the, the one turners. <laughs>
This is live, Big Lab Gaming. I could have put live. That's why I yeah, wait. This is live. This is live. This is live. This is why it's taken 40 fucking minutes. And we're not even at half time yet. I mean, I really love the thrill of live games. <laughs> <laughs> you mean bring it back, Dr. Malabosco? Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, that is a good idea, isn't it? I don't know if you know, don't know the difference between a replay and a live game after five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> You know, probably it won't take him long to see, okay, it's a live game. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the clock at the bottom uh, right. Yeah. Okay, turn seven for Chanter. He needs to do some magic here or uh, Hancock scores next time. Yeah, he uses his limit of scoring though, so he might be able to get some kind of, you know, screen set up. It's not Yak, it's just vicious rumors started by Volk. Aye. <laughs> it's fine, me. Fuck's sake, man. We can compare <laughs> it to Jack. It's hitting rock bottom in my life. <laughs> That's a good point, that is a good point, Mordred. That is a good point. And if I have anything to say, you will never uh, see us in the same room. Glorious. <laughs> no, I won't give me until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Hello. Hope you're doing well, oh, Jimmy. Flamingo Thanks the for the content. I enjoyed every minute of it. Subscription. Yeah, a whole thank year. <laughs> thank you very much, yes, Flamingo. Yep. A whole year, three beaver pregnancies. Glorious, thank you very much. Is this some pause? <sighs> Fucking feels like it, doesn't it? Fuck, man. Come on, chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop, chunter. Fuck's uh, sake! is moving, Chanter is moving! Fuck's sake, Chanter! Hurry up! He's gonna go to his stream and like, hurry the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> fuck me! In the fucking game, man! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh, they don't even work. Yeah, I've got to change. Glorious. No, change I won't give in commands. until I'm victorious. All this. And I will All defend. this. I will For defend. A <laughs> Not even Big red dice. Disappointed. Disappointed. <laughs> oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Chugman. Well, not Chugman Milk. Chug Almond Milk for staying fantastic for half a year. Otherwise, more commonly known as... One and a half beaver pregnancies, absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, only some of the only some of the sound effects work. Not basing the ball. I thought he was going to base the ball to dictate the blitz. Without doing that, it seems rather pointless, doesn't it? Oh, he can't move yeah. laterally, though. He cannot move laterally. But still, you block this guy, block that guy, and you're straight through. It seems fucking easy as fuck. You just literally need two pushes. Do not fuck yeah, this like, up. like uh, seven million players with guards, so yeah. yeah it's, it's, this is the easiest. This was bad. From, uh, bad from Chun. He just needs pushes. Just literally needs to push him. Or both down him. Push him. And then you 
Oh, I guess the board down is problematic. Okay, the board down's bad. You need to push him. And then you need to push him. And then you sword. But yeah, the board down's not good. Do need a push. Let's make it 3D, very good. Gets the push. The plim plum push. I mean, a board down is good enough, it just makes two geofires, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Oh, one geo. One, two, three. That's only one geofire for to push, anyway, so that's fine. It's bullshit, isn't it, Shawnee? Yeah, he gets the power. This was a very weak defense from Trent, and maybe he was going to run out of time, he's going to move somebody else. But Based on the ball would have been better, wouldn't it, than sort of yep. just due to At least that's something. Yeah. I was letting him blitz that out as well, that just makes the gaping hole. And now it's a straight line to the one turn attempt. Yeah. Should have veered off to score in the middle middle of the touchdown. <laughs> so on. <laughs> Bit of a mistake from Hancock there. Also, huge equity loss with human cheerleaders. Oh, instead of human force. cheerleaders. Oh, these people never learn. <laughs> the one good thing about Blood Bowl 3 is the, is the multiple cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right there, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with one minute turns, you can't think of good defences. Like you could do if you'd had ten minutes in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe that's why Chunter didn't want to be in the BBSL. The one minute turns there. Eh? He likes a good think. He's playing Blood Bowl. Which is fair enough. I was totally banned from doing competitions and the like. I think he nowadays is only playing a CCL and maybe something else, but not much. You can drink it, you just can't chug it. Yeah, that's that's fair, Jim. That's fair. <laughs> Jim, how's it going? Did you find the, your car? I heard uh, someone nicked it. <laughs> Jim Shard. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Fucking Shawnee. <laughs> Holy shit, Shawnee. <laughs> the last part was really necessary. <laughs> well, not a very complicated setup for Chanter here, you know. It's guzzling on the table. What about, you could ask Ryan Guzzling Man Milk. <laughs> Under the table. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Under the table. <laughs> the, the Telegraph will be delighted with that kind of content. <laughs> Under the table, Man Milk. Ooh, dangerous here putting that guy there. He can be walled off now, can't he? On a perfect defense. Interesting. Dangerous yeah. play. I don't know why he put the one turner inside the LOS. Yeah, this is uh this is 
I have to say, this is a one turn attempt. It's not very difficult to, you know, set up for it when you have a one turner, so. Mm. Yeah, P. Diddy could cause him some problems here. <laughs> oh no, he gets an extra reroll, so he's got two rerolls for the one turn now. The ball in a perfect situation. Yep. Oh, he's going to get a rowdy with one of the Toon Guardians. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy, he's getting rowdy. Not that rowdy, though. John has four commentators in his channel. Bloody hell. Too many cooks spoil the broth, don't they? <laughs> right, no, I'm not saying that. I don't mean anything. It's probably great. I'm not. I'm not putting down anybody or anything. I just realised. I said that as a joke, and then people might think I meant something bad. Oh, hey! Oh. It's the best and way just like play. that, we have a game here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Calcium. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just came thinking, well, uh, Jimmy has a lot of commentators, you know, I can cover it up just in case there is nobody else. But suddenly, you know, everybody running away, becoming traitors, joining <laughs> other streams, you know, and things like that, going with Glorious. all the girls out and all no, that. I won't give in until I'm victorious. I'm and fucking I'm stuck here with the nerds. I will give <laughs> <my> years. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carmagon, for staying fantastic for 24 glorious months, six whole beaver pregnancies, two entire years. Amazing, thank you very much. Oh dear. Too many cocks ruined the man milk. <laughs> I'm going to grab another name, bro. In my humble opinion, one of the best <laughs> contacts that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah, but the thing is, it was 1-1 one, one after the blitz, so that was basically like he scored the one-turner anyway. So this is still going how both pl players expected it to go, really, 1-1 one, one, uh, after Hancock's drive. Um, but given how badly it's out of Hancock, he'll take this one. And now the one turners are on the field, so he's got a chance to take him out. But he's still got a really good chance of losing 2-1 here. Hancock, he's got to do something special. He's got a coach like he's never coached before. Which means well. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> only joking. <laughs> Just a joke like they do on Top Gear. <laughs> Already coaches like he's never coached before. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a skip from uh... a. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. I can't even remember his fucking name, to be honest. That guy from Fist of Fun. Stuart Lee, there you go. No, Top Gear isn't a thing, but it was a, it was a, it was a, yeah, a bit from uh, Stuart Lee. Pretty good. Oh, tight LOS. Not such a good strategy. I think you should have spread eagle that LOS with a strength six in the middle, holding the centre. That's all you needed, wasn't it? And if they were spread a little bit, he would have been controlling more squares. <laughs> I 
should shouldn't it go for the quick score turnover? It's probably what he's gonna think about now for three fucking minutes. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Uh, Hello. Did, did I miss anything? Of nah, course not much. Of course not. There is a touchback though for. Well, not a touchback. He caught it. Uh, he shouldn't have caught the ball. So he might go for a quick score. He might not. Who knows? Who knows? We'll find out in about 10 minutes time. Mind blow blitz on the Garda. Now going for the guy that you said in the first half. That's what I mean the target. What you can do is now you can put the natty on on the on the LOS and he's a scoring threat, isn't he? Which is insane. <laughs> <laughs> this looks a bit like a yakka, doesn't it? Really, it's it's not a daka, but it's uh, it almost is. No wizard, so he's putting all of his eggs in one basket. An unprotected basket. That's fair enough, right? Because you've got to protect the one turner. And you've got to protect the ball. So it makes sense to stack them together. So yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a yakka. Well, better than a yakka. It's a facker. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a chaka. <laughs> yeah, chaka. Yeah, go Chanda, chaka. <laughs> oh, okay, I have to say that the ball there is not particularly safe. No, it's it's very not safe. I would be half tempted to just go for that. Like it's, oh no, it's hard because they're shit agility, aren't they? Yeah. And there you thought it's too far away. Yeah. Yeah. Who's he got a blots? My god, this is. This could go to extra time. <laughs> Well, that'll be thrilling. Oh. Ah. Okay, two best cards are ready on. Someone <laughs> check that for the bingo card. <laughs> I like putting the guard or another guy here to keep these guys tied up. Just keep all the shitty linemen tied up. And then with, with your shitty men. And then, you know, leave your tacklers free to deal with the uh, gutters. And then I think that's how you beat rats. Really like getting the guard near the guy in here. Yeah. I was thinking exactly the same. Yeah, I said, look that side of the beach. Really want to see those fingers. Oh, he's not really doing it. Well, the thing with free, see those fingers. With free rolls, is that usually you need them instantly. You get a reroll and the next roll is always a fail. Yes, we are red. Side of the bitch. No, side yes, of the it was, bitch. It was the 1 in 36 chances of fail uh, one turn or maybe 1 in 9 or something like that. Yeah, yeah two heads in each, so it was a uh, 1 in 9. Yeah, I like I like making this more sturdy. Oh God, excuse me. I like making this more sturdy. I don't think this guy needs anything behind him. How to put the guard there? Put the guy up here. Put the guy in there. Really lock that down. And you're yeah, to go through here. 
And if he goes through here, then you both your tacklers are relevant, which is nice. Because this tackle and this edge four is really making this side strong. So I think he had to make this side stronger. Nobody has made it. But then don't listen to me. I did abandoned my defence just to try and hit a hit a blood stepping elf. <laughs> Ah, uh, good. I was thinking you need to do something uh, there because if not, the Tomb Guardian just can rip you a new one. <laughs> yep. Also, I'd have liked to have seen this guy more central because Chunter is playing a bit loose with a with the ball protection, isn't he? And if you've got an edge four there, that can yeah, and you have a tackler around, you can always uh, try to do a move there, put a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah replays are about a thousand times better on the from Ingo. I can't see me doing another another one live except like the final, I guess, and maybe the semis. I guess the semis and final should be live. And apart from that. Fuck off with taking 10 minutes. Oh, red oh, dice at last, at last. That's Hunter move, Sean Wang. Put that <laughs> one on the counter. Hunter counter. So fucking hot. But it was with Wesley, so it's alright that now he has the IG4 free to actually properly cover, blitz and cover all the way. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty nice. Uphill, that wasn't it? Pretty nice. <sighs> More effective than his 2D. <laughs> I think uh, not having the Tomb Guardian is helping Hancock because of the way uh, Chanted would have got a wizard. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Actually, I, I agree. I think that is it. Because you don't want to sack him, do you, just for this game? But then, on the other hand, you're not going to get another game if you lose this. So yeah, and I mean, it's a Toon Guardian. You, it's not, it's, yeah, there's no chance. Oh, I'm going to fight a Toon Guardian <laughs> with block. Mm. Mm. See, if if the strength four was uh, was central there, he would have had a shot, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. So, like, I think I think he should have kept him. Because there's been a few times where Chun hasn't really respected the edge four of the uh, of the uh, Camrys. And now, the, yes, and now he's gonna have a open path straight to the ball. What a shitty push! You just need to blitz the skillless uh, gutter with the tackler. Or with the, the other one, with the one that doesn't tackle. It's hard now, yeah. He can't. He's got to blitz him without tackle because he's got to have his tackle back. Like he's got to free this tackle, and he's got to so he's got to block with the edge four. And it's just he's wasting his good players. Basically, it's the problem here. He kind of really don't like. He misses his chance of facing the ball. He could have free the <laughs> Skelly, and no one, two, three, four, five. That was instant the uh, ball base. <laughs> Instant ball bits. I mean, after all, the, the guy with the ball doesn't have blockers on that, so you you know put any pressure on him, he can sort it there by himself. He needs to do or something like that, but that's more rolls that he needs to make. Rotten follow there, absolutely rotten follow. Now he's, I guess he can dodge away. That's not that bad. I would like to have not follow there. The uh, mummy occupying two players. This doesn't have anything to like that. Let me see. So he could just not follow. He needs the tacklers. I'd hate putting the tackle out there anyway. Now you've got to rescue your tacklers. He's got to try and rescue him as well. It's already turned 10, I guess, so he's got plenty of time to rescue. But now he's reduced to having to dodge instead of just smashing this guy at pieces. He can now. No, no, yes, he can. To the the wrestler, chain. He rolled a power, he should have hit the gutter. <laughs> I 
I will have changed the gutter uh, between the the two guardians. Yeah. Yeah, that's that seems fair. And you'd have been in a lot of trouble, wouldn't you, instead of giving the two plus out? Because then you can uh, move the edges, yeah. the strength six, one uh, one square down. Oh, and right. that's a oh, lot no. of pressure. Oh yeah. And yeah. that's that's actually a lot of pressure because it's strength six, you know, it's like. Yeah. He can hit anything you put in front of him. I can open a path to anyone. Yeah, okay, I quite like that. I, I, was, I was thinking push, push the uh, push the strength five one up and back, so you've got him surrounded by three players. Then it's pretty tricky for him to get out. But um, but yeah, putting him in between these, two, pushing him forward. Because pro the problem with the Camry is if you go too far forward, then the yeah, you can come back. And you're fucked. Yeah, I guess it's very tricky for Hancock here. But again, doing that way, you have more or less better covered uh, one, two, three of the gutter runners, and the fourth one is the one carrying the ball. So now, uh, oh. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, obviously, Chanter can score more or less anytime he wants because he has like movement a million. Yes. But you know, the, the only way to beat him is making him having to make rolls. Rolls one in 36, something like that, trying a few every turn, and mm. once in a while, once in a while, oh, thanks for Caio. <laughs> How was uh, Rick uh, stream yesterday night? Did you get a lot of uh, juans from the, this uh, uh, Raid Shadow Legends money? <laughs> 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 Being a five mid level player is, is not a good uh, thing to be. It's been ages since I've played uh, an actual serious game with not to be two friends. So I'll probably just uh, spend all the time thinking about uh, what to do and then doing nothing. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> oh, man. it's just so hot. I think that's what it is. It's so hot that this is just making this harder to deal with. 28 degrees in my living room right now. Brutal. Because I have the windows that get, look south, so get all the sun in the world. Oof. And in the winter is really good, but the three, four days of summer that is really hot is like, oh my god. <laughs> three or four days of summer. <laughs> I live in Scotland, I have to be realistic. <laughs> in fact, there are more than that, it's like two weeks of actual, actual really, really sunny days. <laughs> oh dear. No. God, do you know, when I was in Germany, it was like 36 one day. I was like, fuck, man. It's, just, it's ungodly for me. <laughs> well, that's, that's, uh, can't survive under the weather. Yeah. The best part is here, the people, you know, complaining about, oh, so hot, I can't stand it. 20 degrees, 22 degrees, oh my God, what a name. And then they go to Spain, South Spain, 35 degrees. Oh, I want to live here forever. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you send the Adge four forward? Maybe he hasn't got tackle. I think uh, Chanter right now is in a very complicated uh, situation. Yeah. I mean, those uh, the left side can be corner and team push, you know, to the to it very very close to the line. Yeah, and the other, the rest of the players are like nowhere to be seen. Yeah. He's got the jump up block here. It's interesting, isn't it? I think he's got a pressure with something. Yeah, he needs to move someone somewhere around the line. I think maybe the movement uh, seven. Yeah, maybe the movement seven tackle. The bad thing is he can't dodge it all, so he, like. And Bilic, the guard, the block, uh, rat. And if you get the pow, you more or less have locked down all the gutter runners. 
O jump up, doing nothing. Oh, oh no. No, you just stood up. Hey, Interesting. Yeah, that's fair. Big web game. Yeah, that's fair. I think maybe he's pressured with the edge four, just because then he's not easily dealable with, is he? Like, if you pressure with this guy, this lineman just comes and tags him, and then he's useless, and he's not even pressuring. So maybe you pressure with the edge four. <laughs> oh yeah, it's been going for 11 years. You know, I never got a call, you know, to confirm the program, but just waiting, waiting for the call. So to see when we're going live. <laughs> but see here the tackler here uh, covering the tentacles, He's doing nothing. Yeah. You don't need that guy there. He could have, I could have gone. I would have gone for the bottom uh, gutter. And then you can more or less envelop all the all the dangerous players. Yeah. Quite of like chantering that. one side. It was yeah. all of them. The rest of the players outside who are a bunch of morphos there. Kick, <laughs> block. Who cares? I mean, this guy's got to come forward. Like you just got to push something forward at this point. Not very far. Not very far. Lack of commitment. <laughs> Fear of losing is uh, making them play too conservative. I mean, it's quarterfinals of the cup, anyway. Yeah, yeah that's fine. There's some degree of pressure there. Yeah. It's Hancock's first time, I believe. It's actually the first time. Wow. I think it is, yeah. Oh, he's doing well. I, I can think of another Kenry team that also qualified for the first team and didn't went as far as Hancock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it must be a second time. Okay, okay second time. See, now you have that annoying gutter guard there. Yeah. Yeah, leaving him a 2 plus away. Yeah, I mean, okay, maybe leaving him with a 2 plus again, but you have another player under the strength 6 uh, uh, Tomb Guardian. The IG4, the Storm Vermin has to do more rolls, have to lose some space. Yeah. And the rest of the gutter runners can go anywhere because they have to make too many rolls. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, there you go. It's too easy, isn't it? They can all get out in twos. Exactly. You had you had the chance to put the lock there. I know the fucking rats are doing what they do best. <laughs> and he had the chance for penetration, didn't take it. So now he's he hasn't got anyone through, and he hasn't got anyone in front either because they're all fucking off because the movement now. Cheeky 1D. Cheeky. And with a course. Before doing these two plus dodges. Wild. Absolutely wild. Radiant items. Okay, Chanter, 14 seconds left. Time to do. Oh, okay, that's it. Oh, not really doing the. Not doing the. Two pluses. 
Yeah. And he's still next to the Arch 4 as well. No, oh, but he's got Glorious. No, I won't yeah. give in. No, but until mm. I'm victorious. And I will okay, defend. I will defend. Yeah, so he has he has got the uh, Arch 4. And now, yeah, yeah, Chandler has yeah. said he's in a very good position because there are too many uh, Camry players stuck in the left. Yeah, yeah, that was the that's, that's, that's why I didn't like the Pomber with Tackle, Tackle Pomber yeah. pacing there, like that. Ah, yes. If you want to bleach, okay, bleach, but then getting him back to the center. Yeah. Thank you very much, Goblin Mob Boss. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. <laughs> Glorious. Enjoy the wonderful emotes. <laughs> I, love. I have to say, Sonny, one of the reasons I came to Scotland, and I know it sounds like a joke, was to improve my spoken English. <laughs> I discovered that it was going to be the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's funny when I, I learned I learned German at school. Believe it or not, I like you know I, I studied German at well. I had German lessons at school, and they were from a, they were from a Scottish guy. So we we all learned German with a Scottish accent in that class, which is fucking crazy, isn't it? It's beautiful. I yeah, when I was um, learning uh, English in the kindergarten school, it was always with English, uh, Spanish uh, Spanish uh, teachers. So that's why, you know, most of the Spanish people speak English with such a strong uh, Spanish accent. Because mm -hmm. our teachers were also Spanish. Right, fair enough. <laughs> we like well, like, like, oh, oh. There is no problem with learning Spanish to go to Catalonia or any part of Spain. Everybody is going to understand you there perfectly speaking Spanish. If someone say you can't understand you because they are freaks. <laughs> when I get iron brew from the sauce. <laughs> I discovered it when I was here. Iron brew. I discovered it. Um, Magaluf. When I arrived here, everybody asking me about Magaluf. I have no idea what was Mag Magaluf, you know, because as a Spanish person, I don't go to holidays to places like that. <laughs> I don't need to travel for that. Uh, sticky Vicky from Benidorm, that seems to be a massive thing, and I didn't know, and I regret knowing about her. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was the thing, yeah, all right. Well, oh, I, I knew about Ibiza, Ibiza, yeah, Ibiza's all right. It's not a bit too far over that fella. Who knows? And now Chanter has it more or less. It's easy. He will see a push through turn here. You have this blitz. Ooh, that's only a push. That makes it a bit more interesting. That makes it a bit more interesting. Only with a push there. Wow. Got all the gutters to move around. That's pretty much all he's got. Who knows what he'll do. Find out in two minutes time. Okay. This feels, you know, like the time when you're doing cardio, hard cardio at the gym or something like that, and every second feels eternal. <laughs> yeah. On what you're trying to do, you know, doing deadlifts or squats and you're going down and it feels like three days and you go up, it's like, oh my God. And then it's like two seconds. <laughs> oh, God. 
Where is he going uh, with the ball now? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm... He has because now Hanko has the tacklers in very good positions. Yeah, maybe he's going to sideline cage, but he hasn't got sidestep on the ball, so it's risky. Like I remember for like I watched all the Forty Towers, so I'm sure I remember it when I see it again. I don't know where I don't know where he's going or what he's doing here. I guess the this guy's gonna go on the tackler, and then he's just gonna like fucking run away. Other fair, you'll be surprised the amount of people that exercise here or watch videos of people exercising to criticize them. <laughs> no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Ah, oh, poor form. Poor form. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how many people do that. Holy shit. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like, you know, there's a video of, like, you know, the fucking world's strongest man. You know, whatever. Brian. Brian Shaw. Like, there's videos of, like, Brian Shaw. And Zidrunna Saviskas as well. Like, and they're, like, you know, like, fucking squatting ridiculous amounts or pressing ridiculous amounts. And then, like, there's these little fucking nerds, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying about their form. It's amazing. Oh, he's double one has come, but it's after he's made the critical ones. Yes, but before but he's tagged. Still, the, I think, I think, I think I can see a hit on the ball. Yeah, before he's tagged him, so it was still critical. But like, obviously, these would have been worse. But it's still a critical fail. But the problem is for Hancock is the lack of recovery. Probably, maybe not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe a recovery for Hancock here. Obviously, he's going to hit him up. He's, he's from the top. Him. Then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, this, this, the, the, he could get the ball here. This could be, this could be glorious for Hancock. Huge snakes. Hello, gonna be more, gonna be more boss. This is the quarterfinals. Yeah, not quarterfinals. Round of sixteen. Oh well, yeah, round of it's still round of sixteen. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought the next ones were the semi-finals, they were all right. Oh, no, okay. no, 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 we, we, we did all of the, we've done all of the round of 32 uh, matches, and then we've done like two of the round of 16, so we're, we're still on the round of 16 right now. So, yeah. Good, safe moves first, good. Yeah. But now you've got to do the hit, because you've got to power him. Got yeah, yeah, now he's, uh, everybody's waiting for this. Everybody's been waiting for this all the game. The hit in the one-turner. Yeah, huge. You've got to pile on as well. Oh, oh what the have... fuck oh, are you oh, doing? Oh, no, that's oh, fine. fuck me, man. Oh, Hancock. Oh, Hancock. You broke armor. Think. Oh, terrible, terrible scatter. Oh, Hancock. you got to hit him up. you got to hit him up. Oh, I killed that guy. Okay, I got that on there. Uh, got that. Oh, Apple fails. Apple fails. In the, Jesus. <laughs> Casualty 61, Apple 66. I mean, okay, it wouldn't have made that much difference, right? Because he hit him, he hit him laterally. Did he? Yes, but that one is square. That one. Uh, but he could have hit him up. Camry. And yeah, and that one square could have made the difference, like especially if it had gone back, right? Then I think he had to hit him from like he just it was just definitely hit him from the wrong direction, if you ask me. As it is, you could have caught it with, with, with where it went as well. This 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 gutter could just three three two two twos and then just score like it's good closing the door for that uh, gutter there. He needs to touch him away as well. He, he needs to move that uh, Ferrara. Yeah, he needs to be in, uh, be able to grab the ball next turn. Yeah. And he needs to move the 
dirty player a little down just to create, you know, the, <laughs> the chance of a... It's got to dodge him to here. Hello, Channel Corvo. No, it's almost blocked this space. He's rolled a one. Glorious. Got to reroll. No, I won't roll. give in. You have to reroll it. Until yeah, I'm to. victorious. You don't want to, but you have to. I will defend. I will defend. It's sad, but you can, you can risk an armor break here or you in the ground. Yeah. Yep, you need, you need his edge for sure hands next turn. Um, thank you very much, Poopy Scoop 666 What a name. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying fantastic for five glorious months. A who will be your pregnancy and a little bit of a one. Alright, so that that stops that, but he's still got here. So this is a four, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI. Yep, so that doesn't really so it's a four three. Four through tackle, three through tackle. Then two without, and then two through tackle, then three, then two th the two two twos. But I mean, it's 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 a good chance, isn't it? Like it's I know it's a million rolls, but it's still like pretty good odds when, once you stick the re-roll in there. Whether he'll go for it or not. And you go thirty percent. I think that's crazy, isn't it, for such like a long series. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty right. Maybe missing one, two plus. But, um. Oh, no, no, it's got the two plus, yeah, because it's four, three, and then two with a re roll. And then. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that looks right, yeah. That looks right to me. He's just done this first. Blitzing this guy, I guess. Oh. Oh, he was going to blitz him away with a double GFI. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good then, isn't it? If you knock him out of the way, yeah, if you knock a... him down, then it's just a two away. Dirty players down. Do you Oh yeah, dirty player in the in range. <laughs> he can't foul before you pick up, but you've got to pick up with this guy and he's got to pass it yes. to him, so you need someone to pass it to. You do need like this guy. Probably yeah, the other uh, blizzard. Yeah, probably a few, probably a couple of scoring threats. Yeah, because if you go to extra time and lose the toss, that's it's game over. Yeah. Unless you kill the the one turner. And even so You've got to foul him. Like you've just literally, you've got to pick up this one, and you've got to foul him. Okay, here comes the, the scoring one. thread. Looking pretty good for Hancock. Yeah. He can make this a three D, don't you? Even though he's got a tackle, I think you just make it three. Whew. Huge. What you could do is uh, go for the pickup. And then this guy could have come in there. And then you could have 3D'd him, and if it was a push, 3D'd again. Which will be quite nice. But you'll just KO him, no problem. Happy days. You can cover the, the lineman red. Yeah. Yeah, yeah real red there. Uh, Sat the field already. Uh... Already busted. <laughs> Pretty amazing news. Dinosaur butthole. Oh, 
who to go. Come on. Oh, oh it's a gas. Only badly hurt. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it every single day of the week. Oh, yeah. So, there is a chance for Hancock if it goes to overtime now. Yes, because there are very many rats left. <laughs> well, if Hancock pulled this off, is a massive credit for him. Yeah. Beating Chanter with one turner is you another. Know, not many people have managed to do that. <laughs> Glorious. Absolutely. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. Least, yeah. And I will defend. I will defend. Two months until three years, Jimmy. Unbelievable. Thank you very much, Sledger, for staying fantastic for 34 glorious months. Um, well, nearly three years. It is nearly three years, yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, eight and a half beaver pregnancies. <laughs> Is the more normal measurement? <laughs> Not really, but you know. Thank you very much, Sledge. Glorious. Oh, he's failed. He's failed. He's put in the reroll. He's failed. All right. So now there's no real counter score threat. So I think you go for the pass this turn. Yes. And you can. Uh... Hit the the rat, the lineman, blitz the storm vermin, and then you have the free the free the blitz rat. Yeah. So you've got to make this block. Want. See what happens first, haven't you? Yeah. Or just blitz with a strength six. Blitz no, with a strength the... six, so it's three D. That's that's the play. Blitz with a three D. No, I will go two D with the tomb guardian and then blitz two D the storm vermin with the strength six. Ah, yeah, okay. But then this way it's a 3D, so it's safer, isn't it? I, you know, he has he has roll trip skulls already. Um, but yeah, I guess that's the that's the greedier way, isn't it? If you if you get the pound the first one, then you do get a hit, which is nice. So yeah, that's probably that's probably right to be fair. And then you can get there. You go, nice. And then, yeah, you can blitz him as well. And this gets your uh, strength six in range as well to score in case you fail the pass. So yeah, this this blitz is great. The only question is whether you GFI or not. He's not blitzing. Oh, he's not doing it. He's going to do it with the jump up uh, piece. Don't risk that way. Maybe he just misclicked. Oh god, no, he is, he is going for this guy. I guess this means that at least if the pass has failed, you've still got another chance. <laughs> Oh, wow. ho, 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 really good. Wow. So, yeah, I guess you just go for the pass next turn then. Just move him with the pass next turn. I don't know. I, can't, I quite liked blitzing with him, so he was in range to score. And then. Yeah. And then go for the pass this turn. And if you fail it, then at least you've got next turn to go for him. So now you four pass, so it's gonna be what uh, four plus once he goes down. No, it's gonna be maybe more. Nah, it's gonna be like a three. You'll, you'll have to do it next turn. I think I don't think he's gonna go for it this turn. Like maybe he should go for it this turn, just because it would give him an extra chance. <laughs> yeah, it took a yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is definitely. Bad news. For, I mean, not really, right? Because this guy's only badly hurt, so um, it's easy to lose against Chunt with Skaven, isn't it? And Chanter saved the roll for extra time. Good, because there is no point on it. Oh well, it was a blitz and it works now. Nah, yeah, well, you want extra time anyway. So it says one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is going to be a three plus pass. I'm pretty sure. Three plus uh, pass with a roll, and then catch with a four plus with a reroll, 75%. Those are very good chances there. 
Yeah. I mean, this is a hell of a Camry team. It could absolutely yeah, I mean, that you for a Thorora is the kind of player that makes you a champion because it can give you the title of a... And it's the kind of monster piece that you need, you know, to do this kind of crazy plays. Exactly, yeah, that's the great thing about uh, Mr. Page's team, isn't it, with the Edge 5 and Edge 4. Oh. I've come to your game. Oh, oh hello oh. there! <laughs> <laughs> and that's it! Just in time, right? <laughs> Just that's in it, time! Yes. Oh, wait. For the victory party, oh, you're right for the victory game. party, and Hancock makes it! <laughs> Hancock makes it with everything! Many of us thought it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Beat Chantel with a one-turner. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Hancock. You're Jesus only... Christ Almighty. <laughs> You're only two hours 40 minutes late. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right, I assume you won. Uh, it was a draw. Oh, that's basically a loss. Team deleted. Season over. <laughs> Delete the BBSL. What are we watching now? <laughs> This was Hancock getting amazing. Oh wow! There's only one AV break for Chunter in the Whoa. entire game, despite him with mighty armor seven with mighty blow. You know, a fair amount. One AV break. Twenty three. It was a CCL round of sixteen. Hancock with, you know, brilliant Camry to be fair, versus Chunter with not brilliant Skaven, but Skaven with a one turner. <laughs> so you know, and uh. Chunter. So yeah, it did great job by uh, by. Hancock. Well, you can never feel too bad about a uh, natural one-turner getting ousted from the playoffs, so good riddance. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Camry doing a very deep run into the Chalice. And with a actually really, really good team, the four Tomb Guardians have block. Yeah, yeah, an incredible So team. whoever they're facing next is like, ooh, it's a lot of things. And, uh, uh, IG4 uh, Thoror is like yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, in the end, it was, it was a huge double one, wasn't it, from his uh, from his tentacle shadowing gutter that would have, you know, had he made that two plus, he would have uh, locked down the uh, the tackler who ended up getting the ball. But hey, you know, he's still there was a, there was a few two pluses that turn that were uh, you know that were very very dangerous for Chunter, and he missed he missed you know it wasn't it wasn't that crazy that he failed one of them. Um, so there you go. Congratulations to Hancock. Commiserations, Chunter. Thank you yeah. very much, Fimey, for the commentary. As always, a pleasure to be here. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.